As we look up at the night sky, we are captivated by the beauty of the stars and galaxies that shine so brilliantly above us. But have you ever wondered why space itself seems so dark and empty, despite the countless stars that exist within it? The answer to this question is not only fascinating but also holds the key to unlocking some of the universe's most profound mysteries. Join me as we explore the darkness of space and unravel the secrets of the universe. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. To understand why space appears to be dark, we need to look at how light travels. Light travels in a straight line, and it will continue to travel in that straight line unless something stops it. In space, there is no matter to stop the light, so it just keeps on traveling in a straight line forever. This means that when we look up at the night sky, we are only seeing the light that has been emitted from stars and galaxies that are within our line of sight. So, why does space appear to be so dark then? The answer lies in the vastness of space. Space is incredibly vast, and the stars and galaxies are scattered so far apart that the amount of light that reaches us is incredibly small. In fact, the amount of light that reaches us from distant galaxies is so small that it is almost imperceptible to the naked eye. But there's more to it than that. The universe is also expanding, which means that the light from distant galaxies is redshifted as it travels through space. This means that the wavelengths of light become longer, and the light shifts towards the red end of the spectrum. This redshifted light is even harder to detect, which contributes to the overall darkness of space. Now that we understand why space appears to be dark, let's take a look at why Earth appears to be so bright. The answer to this lies in our atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is made up of gases and particles that scatter and reflect sunlight, which makes the sky appear blue during the day. At night, the atmosphere still scatters and reflects sunlight, but in a different way. The result is a glow that is known as the zodiacal light. In addition to the zodiacal light, there are other sources of light on Earth that contribute to its brightness. Human-made light sources such as streetlights and buildings also add to the overall brightness of Earth. These sources of light can be seen from space and are a testament to the ingenuity of mankind. But the brightness of Earth is not just a matter of the atmosphere and human-made light sources. It also has to do with the fact that Earth is relatively close to the Sun. The Sun is an incredibly bright source of light, and it illuminates our planet even when it's on the opposite side of the Earth. This means that there is always some amount of sunlight reaching our planet, which contributes to the overall brightness of Earth. While the sources of light on Earth are fascinating, they also have a downside, light pollution. Light pollution is the excessive or misdirected artificial light that can have negative effects on the environment, wildlife, and human health. It can disrupt the natural rhythms of animals, interfere with ecosystems, and even affect human sleep patterns. Light pollution also has an impact on our ability to observe the night sky. As more and more artificial light is added to our environment, it becomes increasingly difficult to see the stars and galaxies that are beyond our atmosphere. This is why astronomers often travel to remote locations to observe the night sky, away from the light pollution of cities and towns. But light pollution isn't just a problem for astronomers. It's a problem for all of us. We need darkness for our bodies to function properly. Our circadian rhythms, which govern our sleep patterns and other biological processes, rely on the natural cycles of light and dark. When we disrupt these cycles with artificial light, it can have negative effects on our health and well-being. Fortunately, there are ways to reduce light pollution. By using more efficient lighting technology, directing light where it's needed, and turning off unnecessary lights, we can reduce the amount of light pollution in our environment. This not only benefits our health and the environment, but it also allows us to see the stars and galaxies that are hidden by the brightness of our cities. While the darkness of space may seem like a barrier to exploration, it's actually one of the reasons that space exploration is so important. By studying the faint light that reaches us from distant galaxies, we can learn about the origins and evolution of the universe. In addition to studying the light that reaches us from distant galaxies, scientists also use other methods to explore the darkness of space. One such method is gravitational lensing, which uses the gravity of massive objects to bend and magnify the light from more distant objects. This allows scientists to study galaxies and other objects that would otherwise be too faint to detect. Another method of exploring the darkness of space is through the use of telescopes that can detect other wavelengths of light, such as infrared or X-ray. These telescopes can see through the dust and gas that obscures the visible light from distant objects, allowing scientists to study the universe in new and exciting ways. In conclusion, 
The question of why there is light on Earth but space is dark is a fascinating one that has many answers. The darkness of space is due to the vastness of the universe, the redshift of light from distant objects, and the lack of matter to scatter and reflect light. On the other hand, the brightness of Earth is due to our atmosphere, human-made light sources, and our proximity to the sun. However, the brightness of Earth also comes with a downside in the form of light pollution, which can have negative effects on the environment and human health. By reducing light pollution, we can not only improve our health and the environment but also allow us to better appreciate the beauty of the night sky. Finally, the darkness of space is not a barrier to exploration but rather an opportunity. By studying the faint light that reaches us from distant galaxies and using other methods of exploration, scientists can learn about the origins and evolution of the universe. The darkness of space may be mysterious and daunting, but it also holds the key to unlocking some of the universe's most profound mysteries. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.